y'all. It's your girl. Today is Thursday. It is nasty outside. It's been raining all freaking day. All day. I know when I woke up this morning, it was sprinkling. And then when I got to work, it got like a little bit heavier. But anyways, y'all can tell from the title that your girl took a tumble this morning. Oh my gosh. And this, I mean, it just happened so quick. I'll tell y'all from jump. So, this morning, and this happened like around, I want to say 545, 6 o'clock. Yeah, around that time this morning. I, um, I was going to the printer at work because I was, you know, um, filing some claims or whatever for some insurances and trying to get them out the door today. And I just started feeling like all week and my head was getting, um, felt lightheaded. And uh, my legs, they just felt like wobbly. And I just, I mean, I just felt disoriented. And this happens all the time at work while I'm there. But I always try to make a, a fast dash to my, uh, my desk so I don't fall or you know try to make it to the chair in case you know something would happen so this morning while I'm feeling that way y'all I didn't make it to my to my cubicle and your girl went down and lucky for me um, I had two of my co-workers they come in early in the morning with me and um, I had called for one of them. She didn't hear me, even though she was, she was like, you know, sitting right beside me. But I think that she said that she was checking her voicemail on her phone or something like that. And so I had called for the other um, older lady that was in there. And she was like, what, what? And then, oh my gosh, I guess I had scared the mess out of her. Because when she saw me laying in the floor, she was like, Ebony, Ebony, what, well, what? Well. And then the other lady that was, you know, sitting beside me, she's just like, what, what's going on, what's going on? And um, she was like, call, call the ambulance, call the ambulance. I was like, no. I was like, no, I don't need, you know, I don't need an ambulance. Just, you know, I just need to get up. And then the, the, um, the elderly lady, bless her heart, I guess, she um and she like 70 something she trying to help my big ass up <laughs> and i'm like no just you know i got it i just need to you know get myself together and so um i had got up off the floor but i sat in my chair and while the other elderly lady she's on the phone with uh 911 talking to a dispatcher giving them the info to where we work at so somebody can come and get me to take me to the hospital. And I'm just telling them like, no, I'm not going to no hospital. I'm not going. And so, um, I guess about five, maybe five or 10 minutes. Cause I was still working. Like after I had got about the floor, yo, I had went back to work. And after the time passed, the uh, the paramedics had came in there, and they were like, "Hey, what's your name?" And asked me, "Am I alert?" And they was taking my blood pressure, and I think it was my blood pressure was like 100 and something over 84. They said that was um, they said it was high, I believe so. And then the guy, he just wanted to make sure that it was correct, so he had me stand up, and it was the same. And then um. The lady, she was like, what did you eat today? And y'all, it was like five, six o'clock in the morning. Like, all I had was my coffee and then um, I didn't bring my usual waffles and um, 
Well, the past couple of days, I've been bringing waffle and um, sausages to work. I didn't bring that because I ain't had no more sausages. And I was like, if I get hungry, then I just go to Dunkin' Donuts. It's like two seconds down the street. So um, I had my coffee and then I had some grapes. So I had told him that's what I had had. And she was like, well, can I take your, your blood sugar? I was like, okay, sure. So she took it and pricked the shit out my finger. And she was like, she was like, your, um, your sugar is um, 67. And I was like, okay. She was like, are you sure? Are you sure you don't want to go to the hospital? And I'm like, yeah, I'm sure. Y'all, I'm being selfish when it comes to my health. Because I know I should have went, but y'all know how I feel about, I'm just, I'm cheap. And that's just all that it stemmed down to because I know, like with the ambulance company that I'm with, I know that the base rate starting off for ambulance is $500. And that's, that's just off the, off the rip. Hold on. Hey, I'm going to call you right back. Alright. And um that's not including the miles. So where I was at, they was either gonna take me to, I think in a rundle, but I think they said some <clears throat> a PG crew had came or something like that. So and I'm not for sure um as far as how far that is. But I wasn't going to pay no $500 bill on top of when I had gotten to the hospital and they hooked me up to their monitors and everything else. With, I'm just thinking about price whole time. You know what I mean? Like, not even worry about my sugar because I can get that up. But I had declined it. So she, um, she was like, so what do you plan to do? Because you need to get this checked out. And I was like, well, um, she was like, do you have a primary doctor? And I was like, no. And she was like, well, you need to um, follow up with somebody because you don't just pass out. You don't just, you know, fall out. And I was like, yeah, I understand that. So um, they was getting ready to pack up to leave. And she was like, well, I'm going to need you to sign this uh, refusal paper because you know like I said I didn't want to get in the ambulance so I signed a paper and they went and I'm even thinking about I was going to ask her like because y'all came out here and y'all checked me am I going to get a bill because they asked me for my name and my address everything and I was just like damn please I don't don't submit no bill but anyway um uh one of my co-workers they had came around with the donut because one of the paramedics was like, you need to get some sugar in you. And I thought because I had had coffee and, you know, was eating grapes that that would help. But I guess not. So she had gave me um, a donut because they said that would spike your sugar up real high. But he was um, he was telling me, like, normally when you're, um, I think he said normally when you're anemic um and you're like constantly moving around in the morning. Something he said, like he said the sugar will drop. Don't quote me on that because I wasn't really, you know. But, so he was like, it's just important that you get some sugar in you and, you know, you need to follow up. So, um, after that, like they left and I just started doing, doing my work. Like I said, even before they had got there, after I had failed, um, I had went back to work. And um, so I had told, I told my cousin, and I had told my mom. My mom was like, "So are you?" Um, I just told her I had failed, and she was like, "So are you going to the hospital?" And I was like, "No, mom, I'm not. I'm not going." And she was like, "Ebony, she's like, you need to go. You need to stop." And she was like, "You know, you got your daughter to take care of. You just can't not keep doing these, this stuff, you know, to yourself." Because, um, like, I would always tell my mother I would feel a certain way while I was at work. And I just thought it was because of, like, the 
the vent system that they had because we don't have no um no windows or nothing we work in a garage and i just thought it was based off of that i never would have guessed that it would have been my sugar you know but <sighs> so oh man and then fast forward a couple of hours yeah, the um, and keep in mind, I work for an ambulance company, and the lady, she was like, she was just in such a panic when she had called 911. She didn't even think to call our dispatch to have somebody, you know, come over and check me out. And so, the guy from the uh, on the ambulance side where I work at, he had called over and was like, Well, what's you know, what happened? What went on? and by that time, a couple more people came into work, and the lady that had um, that had called 911 earlier, she was telling the guy in operations um, what had happened, and she's like, "Oh, um, one of the ladies over here, she fell, and we, um, I didn't even think to call you guys. I just called 911, and I guess he's asking her who was it. And she was like, "Oh, um." It was Ebony. She sits right beside me. Do you want to talk to her? And um, I guess he said no. And, she, you know, she proceeded to tell him what had happened. And I don't know what happened after that. Like an hour after she had talked to him, I'm uh, going to the file cabinet to file some papers. And to get there, I have to pass my boss's... Um, my boss's uh, desk and she came in like around 8 and I guess word had got to her I guess one of the, the ladies had told her or maybe somebody from operation had called and told her and she's like Ebony come in sit down close the door and I'm like god damn and um, she's like so what's going on and I was like she was like um, I heard what happened this morning I was like yeah Miss Jennifer I said, I just, my, I said, my legs just got weak and I fell. And she was like, girl, she said, um, you know, you need to take care of yourself and your body is really important. And I was like, yeah, Miss Jennifer, I know all of that. And she's, um, she's saying, you know, um, you have your daughter to take care of. She said the same thing mama said, you got your daughter to take care of. And she was, um, I was telling her that, you know, I had problems with my thyroid, and she was like, being that you had fell, you know, she was like, that's neurological, because the, the nerves in your brain was sending a signal to your legs, and that's what was having them shake for you, just to fall out the way that you did, and she was like, so that's very important, and you need to get that checked out, and I was like, yeah, I will, so, um, when I was talking to my mother, cause she know I'm forgetful as I don't know what, and then she's the type of person that'll just, you know, she'll jump on things. So when I had told her the type of insurance that I had, the hell, that I had had, um, I'm sorry, um, she had found a doctor for me come to find out I don't think that doctor really took my actual insurance so um, I had got permission from my boss to go on the um, Blue Cross website that I have you know access to as a provider and I was able to look up the type of um, a, a primary doctor for myself so when I get home which is going to be in like a couple of minutes I'm going to call them and try to set up an appointment. Hopefully, maybe they have um, an opening today. If not today, tomorrow. If not tomorrow, then next week. So um, we're gonna see how that goes. I will keep y'all posted. But I'm like a few minutes from home right now, and what I plan to do is just, I'm gonna fall out on my couch and just sleep for an hour before I have to get my child. I should've went home earlier but the girl need them coins, so. I got bills to pay y'all. Y'all, Some of y'all might, you know, agree. 
some might disagree and be like, oh, Ebony, you know, you should have, um, you should have went to the hospital or, um, you know, you should have went home. I can't afford to do that, unfortunately. And, you know, I, like I said, I, I sound selfish, but I just, I'm, I'm doing everything myself and I don't have nobody else to depend on. So therefore, what do you do? You know what I mean? I gotta feed my child, I gotta keep a roof over her head, I gotta, you know, keep these cars in line, and I'm in the process of doing some other things, so in order for me to do that, I have to be to work. So, like I said, I'm getting ready to take my tail in the house. Hold it. Oh, okay. And I'm just gonna chill out. And I shall talk to y'all later. All right, y'all.